Yo, welcome back to another video here on Free Will Photos. Today, we are going to be looking at On One Photo Raw 2022. It is about to go down. It comes out later this month. Now, I want anyone to share their comments, whatever feature you're the most excited for in the comment section below. And let's just get a discussion going about On One Photo Raw 2022 and the new features that are coming. All right, so let's go ahead and dive into the computer and take a look at On One Photo Raw 2022. So here we are on the On One Photo Raw website and we're on the new features tab. So, and it's supposed to be released September 2021, which at the time of this recording, it'll be this particular month at some point, probably the last day of the month. They tend to wait until the very last second to release their new software. Uh, but nonetheless, here we are. So one of the first new features here is replace skies uh, or sky AI. I think that's the name of the feature here. Um, now I'm not going to play any of these videos. You can come to their website and you can run the videos. I'm just going to talk about this. So if you are a landscape photographer, obviously you can replace the sky. What's cool about this is it fits more than just landscape photography. So maybe you're doing product photography outside and the sky really does need to be altered in some way. And the way that I would use this particular or not that I would use it, but the way that I could suggest and find creative ways of using it is if you are photographing something outside, it has to have a sky in it. Uh, for this to pick it up, I believe, and that'll be something I want to test out. I'm excited for this, but I would remove the sky and then I could put in whatever background I want. Uh, it doesn't have to actually be a sky. So if I have a background of maybe some marble texture and I'm shooting a product image and, you know, I want the foreground to stay the same, but I want the background to be something different. This is a perfect way of doing it. And the masking features built into here uh, are pretty powerful and you get access to the mask. So it's not like, um, with Luminar where you can't really modify the mask, copy the mask and paste it, uh, and then go and do other things. So you can literally mask out just the sky and then copy the mask, go to a different effect or, or whatnot, paste that particular mask in and then invert it. And now you're editing the foreground. Super, super exciting. Uh, no noise AI is built in to On One Photo Raw 2022. Uh, I've never used no noise and I don't do much noise reduction in my photos, but I'd be interested to see how this works out. And, uh, you know, I, if it's built in, might as well try it, right? It doesn't hurt to try. Uh, now, here's another feature that I'm really, uh, like, really excited about. This is the line masking tool. Now, with most photo editing applications that you work in a layer-based format, there is what's known as the pen tool. Well, this gives you something similar to the pen tool so you can make more precise selections. And as you can see, you can curve this. Now, when I watched the first video, they kept showing like these squares, uh, like uh, masking out window panes or whatnot. If you ask me if this could curve, it would have been nice for them to show how technical you can get with your selections by curving the mask. That would have been uh, more exciting for me at first, but I didn't realize that you can curve the actual shape of that little line tool or whatever um, until I just came to the website uh, and seen this. Now, the custom thumbnails, this is a cool feature, but you know, it, it's more of an organization thing, uh, as well as the organizing speed up, which both really, really cool features. And, you know, it is what it is. I'm not going to really spend too much time on that. Those are, those are good features. Now, time lapse. Time lapse is actually kind of cool. Uh, I've never done time lapse photography, but if this 
video and, and I watched a video of how to create time lapse inside of on one. If the feature works out pretty well, I think I might actually test that out. Now you can watch the video and if you're into time lapse, let me know in the comment section below if this is a, a feature that you are excited for or if this is just like a gimmick, I don't know. Um, I, I'm really not sold either way, but it's nice that it's added in there. Uh, I wonder how many people asked for it. Now, here is a feature that I know I'm going to be using a lot. And, you know, export modules don't sound exciting, right? Uh, it's like whoop de doo you get to take your photos out of the software so you can share them. Now, as a person who delivers multiple versions of the same image uh, based off of, you know, when I was working with clients, what they needed, uh, this now gives me the opportunity to export all of those at the exact same time. So I don't have to go back and forth into the export module and say, okay, here's my 50% JPEGs that I'm sending. These are gonna be for the application so they can upload those onto a cell phone. Here's the 100% JPEGs, here's the 100% TIFFs. And you know, the other cool feature here, now mind you, let me go back to that for a second. I would have to export four different times depending on the file sizes and uh, the file types that I'm creating. And then if I'm doing a gallery wrapping, it, it just gets insane, right? Now, with the new export feature, I can set all of those uh, settings and I'll see if there's a, a limit to how many you can actually set for uh, the export types of files. But now I can set seemingly at least four based off of the screenshot here and, and the demonstration in the video, uh, four different export types, and then it all exports at the same time. Uh, and if I remember correctly, it lets you export them into separate folders. So you could just see like the time saving that this is. Now, uh, if you are not into multiple versions of exporting, that that's perfectly fine. I get it. What's really cool here is you can create a zip file. Now, if you photo or if you photo, if you export into DNG, it's going to save all of your edits, but it's going to save them as a negative file or a raw file, a raw version of a file. Then what you can do is export those into an archive. So you change the file type from like I shoot Canon R6. So my CR3 files, I can change those to digital negative and then I can export them into an archive. That is really, really helpful because I am now maintaining my edits in a raw format and I'm not taking up a whole lot of space. Uh, not that hard drives are expensive, but if you need to save these on some sort of cloud-based storage, that is a game changer. I'm, I'm not going to lie. That's a game changer. All right. Uh, I am really looking forward to using that feature just because of the capability that that brings. Um, now, here's another one that I'm really excited about. And I have been waiting and asking for this for a very long time. This is running Photoshop plugins or just your plugins that would work in Photoshop internal to on one photo raw. Now, the how this is going to work out, I'm going to have to test it because the video did not really uh, display how this works the best, I think. Um, so I'm really going to do some trial and error with that one when it comes out, uh, because as you know, using Affinity Photo, if you want to export from on one and go into Affinity Photo, you have to uh, send it out as a TIFF file. Um, same thing with the Nick collection. So Silver Effects, Analog Effects, uh, Viveza, all of those, right? But now if you can run them internal to on one photo raw, 
And for anyone who is not quite sure what I'm talking about, running a plugin internal to on one for the raw, this means you do not have to export it as a TIFF. It is going to open the software module inside of on one. You can make all of your edits and then hit save. Now, what's not clear is if it is non-destructive, meaning you can go back and re-edit your image uh, or that particular version. Now, I'll be honest here. Uh, this is going to be another area that I, I test out, but the layer based I guess workflow inside of on one photo raw it does not always work the best it can tend to slow down on one photo raw so if this is a format where you open a plugin you make your edit and then it saves it as a new layer then this may not be the uh the best option but i'm excited to try it out nonetheless and the reason for that is the more layers you add into on one photo raw the slower the system gets now if it is non-destructive and you can add in all of your layer based effects uh, that you want inside of affinity photo and you can go back and forth and make changes then i could see that working um because affinity works pretty well and so does photoshop um you know all these photo or all these plugins but uh if for whatever reason it, every time you add a new plugin you have to create a new layer uh you may end up making a bunch of stamp visible layers which is a destructive way of working um for you know because it bakes in all of those uh everything that's underneath that particular layer into one layer uh so you're not losing information where you can't go back and edit, but you are losing the flexibility of just editing that one thing without having to create a new stamped layer. Uh, I'll, I'll go over that when this comes out and I test that out in the video. But let me know in the comment section below if you're excited about either the uh, export feature or the uh, the new running plugins directly inside of on one those two uh are definitely uh, you know the export one is very exciting and then the plugin feature is really really exciting if it works the way that i hope for it to work and then here's a really cool one um and you know, I keep saying I'm excited, which I am excited for this, but this one is more of a, okay. Uh, and it's, it's going to be a game changer for many of us. Uh, but I, I think that I should cover it. Nonetheless, it is backup and restore in on one 20 or on one photo raw. What this is going to allow you to do is all of your presets, all of your, um, your albums, anything that you had saved, you'll be able to export a backup file. And whenever you go to another computer or, you know, you get a new version of on one, uh, because I have read in the forums that this is an issue, uh, you know, and I have personally experienced it. It hasn't bothered me, but you move from one computer to another computer and your albums don't transition uh, many of my albums are on the, uh, the on one three sixty, So my albums are always rotating with me for the most part. But, uh, for those who are working standalone and they don't have on one three sixty, this is going to be a huge game saver, uh, because the, the albums, all it is, is pointing the on one software to multiple locations. So there's no reason that you can't have your backup files uh, and, and you know have all your information backed up. That that's going to be pretty cool. All right. So this is not some sort of sales video, uh, but I do want to share with you the pricing and then uh, the pre-order bonus and all that good stuff. And yes, I did pre-order, and I'm not trying to pressure in anyone into this. And 
uh, on one's not paying me to, to sell this. I just really enjoy the equipment or the software. And you know that about me because you guys have been watching, uh, you know, if you've been on the, the channel for a while, you know that I love on one. Uh, but here's the deal right now, brand new for the pre-order price, it is $99. And with that pre-order price, you're going to get all of these bonuses right here which is a collection brush set a texture collection a golden uh, hour lut autumn preset and a sky collection um, now if you already own on one photo raw and uh, like me uh, then you would go with the pre-order upgrade eligibility you still get all of these things but you get the pre-order now if you are on the subscription base uh, let me know in the comment section below, but I, I believe that if you are on the subscription base, there is no pre-order necessary. Uh, the whole purpose of having the subscription is that every time that there's a new release of on one, you just get it. So you are essentially, uh, you know, you pay this annually and this also comes with your cloud storage of, you know, 200 or a one terabyte storage depending on which version you get but you'll get the software annually uh, or you can just buy the license as i have done and i will probably continue to do uh, it is 100 percent up to you i want to hear from you are you excited about on one photo raw 22 what is your most favored feature or your most anticipated feature in this software for me i'm split between the the three really which is the line masking tool if that works great i'm gonna have a lot of fun with creating more advanced masks uh, the other feature is the plug-in feature super excited about that and then of course the export feature uh, doesn't sound exciting but that is truly exciting so if you haven't already, check the description box below. There's a link to sign up for the newsletter. When you do that, you get some free on one photo raw presets from yours truly. And if you like the video, please smash the like button. If you're new here, my name's Chris. I'm the content creator and I make content centered around on one photo raw and just photo editing techniques in general. So if that's something you're excited for or you're interested in, consider hitting that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell icon so you can turn on those notifications and get videos whenever I release them. So until next time, I want you guys to stay inspired and keep creating. Peace.